Okay, I'm going to show you how I design earrings in Design Space. So the first thing I do is I look through the images that I've uploaded and I look to find the teardrop shape that I use for my earrings. This is just an image that I got off of Google and I imported it into a Design Space. <clears throat> so there it is. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to do insert. So this is going to take me to my canvas. So I have my image, my teardrop shape, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the size. You can drag it. Um, there's also a place up on the top that you can change it. And if you click on that button to the left that has the lock, you can unlock it so that you can stretch it or um, shrink it where the dimensions do not stay the same. Okay, so when I do my earrings, I make the top flat so that the hook fits better. So I'm going to import a shape. I'm going to do a square shape. And this is how I cut off the top. So I drag it to the square. I put it in the forward so I can see what exactly, how much I'm cutting off. Once I get it to the right position, I'm going to select all by drawing a box around it. And then in the bottom right hand corner, there is a button that says slice. Once I click that, I'm going to get rid of the box that I created. And then there's going to be two layers of the little triangle shape that I'm cutting off. So I just hit the X on both of those. Okay, so now I have my flat shape. So now I need to add my earring hole. So I go to a circle and I import that. I drag that to the size that I need it. So I'm making it a little bit, a lot smaller. And I position it where I want it to go in the earring. And then I use the edit button I'm going to select all of it by drawing a box around it. And then I'm going to go up and I'm going to hit, I can't see that button, but um, I'm going to align it horizontally so it's in the middle of the um, earring shape. So I'm going to change the size a little bit, but I'm also, let's see, okay, I'm going to um, zoom in on my screen so I can really see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And also I have to make sure it's not too close to the top, so I'm going to go up and I'm going to make sure that it's still centered. And so now I need to cut that circle out of the shape. So I'm going to select it all again by drawing a box and go over and hit slice. This slices the layers. So I'm going to move that away and you see that the circle was, um, the hole was created. So I'm going to get rid of these two layers. All right. So that's my earring shape. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And that way there are, these are the two earrings. Okay, I'm going to select both of those and duplicate that because I put a HTV or heat transfer vinyl layer on the back so that it's not the fuzzy stuff showing. And I'm going to change the color of this because if it's a different color, it's going to cut on a different mat. So the first mat is going to be for the leather. The second mat is going to be for the HTV. So these are monogram earrings. So I am going to um, go up to my fonts. I click the text button. I'm going to go up to my fonts and I'm going to pull up my monogram font that I use the most often and my computer was being slow at this point. So I type in the search bar monogram and you'll see all these different options that come off, come up for it. 
Um, I know the one that I use the most is down here. And this is the classic monogram font. Okay, so I type it in. The initials are CBA in that order. So I do a lowercase c, an uppercase b, and then a lowercase a. That makes the first and um, middle initial smaller. So I'm going to drag that away so I can see what I'm doing. And you can either move the uh, letters closer together by using the lines, the letter spacing, and you would just keep changing it that way. Hitting the down button will make them move closer together. But once I get them to sort of what I want, and then I ungroup them, so I'm able to place them exactly where I want to. So I'm going to move the C in because for the monogram, you want them all interlocking. Okay, so I move the C to where I want it. And then I'm going to move the A to where I want it. And once you do that, if I were to just leave it like this, it would cut them separately. So what I'm going to do is draw a box around it. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom right hand corner and click weld. That or first I'm going to make sure that it's centered correctly. And then hit weld. This makes it all one piece. And so you use weld when you are... Um, attaching things like when you're doing cursive and stuff. So I'm going to place it in my template of the shape that I want, and I'm going to make the size better to fit. And it doesn't matter where I place this in this process because it's going to cut separately anyway. But I like to see where how it's going to fit. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate that because I need one for both earrings. And I just want to make sure it fits in both of them. So then I'm going to move them out of the way. Um, I want this to be cut with the HTV. So I'm going to draw a box around it and change the color to white to match the HTV. Okay, so it changed it to white. So now it'll cut on the same mat as my white HTV or heat transfer vinyl. Okay, so that is all I need to do here. So I'm going to click make it and it's going to take me to my cutting screen. So now you see there's two mats. One is white and one is black. I'm not using black. Um, faux leather but it's just a different color so I know to change the mat and going to do it a different thing so I'm going to move these to where I want them I use scraps for my earrings so sometimes I have to move it in some crazy ways um, I hit mirror because for HTV or heat transfer vinyl you have to mirror it so that it is, once you cut it and you place it on your item, it's in the correct order. So now I'm going to hit continue. And this is where I choose what setting I want to cut it on. You can cut it on all sorts of, uh, you can do it on genuine leather, you can do it on iron on, you can do it, and that's different pressures for different things. All right, so that is the process.